Hi, my name is Tyler Tabbitt, and today I'm going to show you what it's like to be a student in the Masters of Arts of Biomedical Science and bridge to WBSOM at West Liberty University. So right now we're going into our Anatomy and Physiology class. This is our first class of the day. Our last class we started with Urinary 1, so we were talking about sort of all the parts that are going to lead up to what we're going to cover in the next series of lectures. The Master's Arts of Biomedical Science Bridge Program is a one-year program consisting of 30 hours of intense biomedical science classes that, that are really a kind of a stepping stool and a preparation for medical school. So everything you do in this program uh, is geared toward making you a better future medical student and it, you know, it doesn't even have to be medical, something like dental or chiropractic or physical therapy. All, everything that we're doing in this program is really going to gear you towards professional school and the fundamentals and foundation that you'll need to be successful at that level. Now we're going to head into our lecture for cell biology. So one of the amazing things about this program is that you can be offered a guaranteed acceptance to WVSOM with a certain GPA, MCAT, and acceptable interview. And I think that's one of the biggest drawing points that they have to this program. Um, however, I was not under the clause of guaranteed acceptance. I actually came in with a pretty low GPA, a, a very low MCAT and I was actually able to work my way up and achieve the grades I needed through the program and substantially raise my MCATs well above what it needed to be to get accepted into WBSOM. Um, after completing those I was offered an interview and was later accepted to the school about three weeks later so even though some people may not fall under that guaranteed acceptance there is still the opportunity 100 percent to to become accepted by working your way through the program and, and being successful. So now we're headed into graduate human genetics and genomics with Dr. Schmidt. The faculty here has, has, has been amazing. Every single day they've gone out on a limb, they've stuck their neck out, anything they needed to do to help us be successful. They've, they've done whatever it takes to, to make sure that we have everything we need. You know, with a small knit community like West Liberty is, you have you have smaller class sizes, so they know your name, they know when you're there. Um, everybody's on a first name basis, and it, it really makes it very welcoming and, and very family like. Now we're going to head into the anatomy lab. So today we're going to be simulating an EKG lab. I did my undergrad at a different school and took a gap year and actually worked in a physician's office where I was a scribe. So as soon as I, I got the opportunity to join this program, I was originally denied to WBSOM and they had recommended that I do this program to, uh, to enhance my GPA and also my MCAT. Being a West Virginia resident, this was a perfect place for me to come, stay close to home get my master's degree and also get all the, the, the tools I need to be successful at WVSOM. Today is the day all the hard work has paid off and now we are graduating. So after medical school I really plan on staying close to home. Um, you know being from Fayetteville, West Virginia, uh, WVSOM is a very close school to my home so, so Southern West Virginia is definitely somewhere I want to stay and practice. They've been a, a very large influence on my life and it's something I want to be close to so I can give back to the community that kind of helped raise me. Tyler Jordan Tabbitt. So today we're at the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine where we're going to be meeting with some faculty and getting ready for the start of the new year. Hello, Tyler. Welcome to WSOM. Dr. Newman, nice to meet you. Welcome, Dr. Hammer. Yeah, very nice. To meet you. WBSOM is nationally ranked as a osteopathic medical school um, for family practitioners, for uh, rural family practitioners, and they are nationally known for the for the work that they do and the and the preparation that they have on their physicians that come out of there. Well, the opportunity that you get here to to learn under these professors and kind of get to take those stepping stones and really prepare yourself for WBSOM to make it as easy as possible for you in that transition. You know, it, it really is, a, it's an amazing thing that they have here with this bridge program and I, I highly recommend it to absolutely anyone. 
So I hope that gave you all a great insight on what it's like to be a student here at West Liberty University. For more information, you can check us out online.